Hey guys, it's Alex. So in today's video, I wanna show you how to set up your Google Ads campaign and ad structure, so ad groups and basic ads for your car detailing business. Uh, really quick before I get into it, if you are having difficulty with your Google Ads campaigns, if it's not converting, if you just have any questions, feel free to click the link down below. You can book a call with me uh, and I'm happy to take a look at your campaign, answer any questions you might have and see if there's any opportunity to help grow your car detailing business online. Otherwise, let's just jump right into it. So. This is the Google Ads homepage, and from here is where you're going to start to build out your campaigns. Right, you have the button right here, new campaign, new campaign. So this is the first window you're gonna see. A lot of people recommend create a campaign without a goals guidance, but obviously for your car detailing business, you want car detailing customers, which are leads, right? And you, you're going to need to set up conversion tracking. This is something you would do after. It's a bit more of an intermediate step. Uh, and I would recommend watching videos on that, on how to get that set up. Uh, make sure you set it up on Google Tag Manager, otherwise you're not gonna be able to track anything correctly uh, and properly for the success of your campaign. From here, you would click search. And then from here, you select the ways you wanna reach your goals. Uh, this is not important at the moment, you'll set that up afterwards, right? Continue. Campaign name, again, let's go, go with the Houston theme. Car detailing, I just like to add Houston, boom. Click through, right, start new campaign. So this is a really important, at the beginning, you wanna focus on clicks, unless you've already been running your ad campaigns. Um, you wanna focus on clicks because you want Google to drive as much traffic as you can to your pages until you're able to generate at least 20 to 30 conversions per month. And then you, when you have that data, assuming you're tracking everything, you can switch over to focusing on a conversions-based bidding strategy. But at the beginning, for any new campaigns, you wanna focus on clicks, you want the most traffic, you want the most visitors. At the beginning, for the first few months, all you're doing is paying for information, right? And for car detailing, unless you have a very low budget, there's, no really, there's not really any reason to set a maximum cost per click. You can, for car detailing in most areas, maybe $5 would be fine, right? So you could just click $5. Um, nope, five dollars, uh, and that should be that should help uh, your budget. But if not, no worries. And then from here, click through. Always opt out of these. These are very low quality networks where Google just likes to burn through your own cash. Um, okay. And yes, always opt out. Do not take Google's auto recommendation to opt in. From here is where you enter in your location options, uh, and we are going with Houston, and include. Uh, what's cool about this is you can actually target very specific neighborhoods. So depending on where you're located, maybe you want to target more affluent neighborhoods or maybe you just want to generate business right around your location. If you're in Deer Park, for example, uh, you can just target using either suburbs or postal codes or zip codes, for example. Really great strategy to use if you want to really tighten up your targeting. And something that you just, you always want to remember to click is include people in or regularly in your included locations. If you select this one, people in regularly and or who've shown interest in your included locations. Of course, Google recommends that because that expands your reach way too much. It'll be someone like me that's looking up Google ads, you know, thousands of kilometers away or people just like doing competitor research or anything. It will show your ads in places that you don't want your ads to be shown from a geographical standpoint, right? So always click people in or regularly in your included locations, right? And then from here, you have some options. One interesting thing that I like to set is because you'll be split testing your ads, Google would obviously want you to optimize for their best performing ads, but when you'll be split testing and you always wanna be split testing, click do not optimize, rotate ads indefinitely. This, this means that your ads, if you have two ads in the same ad group, because you wanna be split testing, that it will show each ad an equal amount of times. This gives you, not Google, this gives you the best, the most relevant information for how to optimize your campaign moving forward, right? And then everything else is just more um, ad schedule you'll change over time. A lot of stuff you'll change over time once you have the data, right? Skip through the AI because Google's not, Google wants to help Google make more money. They don't want to help you make more money. Now from here is going to be your first ad group. Ad groups are basically the broad, well, the a dialed in version of the services that you offer. So the ad group would be car detailing, mobile car detailing, interior car detailing, uh, paint protection film, ceramic coating, stuff like that. And for this case, let's just go with mobile car detailing, right? And then from here, you would just add mobile car detailing, or you can even add up here, um, mobile car 
detailing. Just to get some keyword suggestions, if you haven't, watch my other video on how to do keyword research for your uh, car detailing business and you'll find out the easiest way to get all the keywords that you want to include in here. And you just click get keyword suggestions. This one is okay, the keyword suggestions version. All right, this one's not terrible. We don't want paint. We don't want pressure washer, at home car detailing, no. This is fine to start. You would probably want to add 10 or 15 more keywords, but just for the purpose of this video, uh, I'll just add these and you can change the match type here. I'll get into match types in a minute and show you why you definitely want to change those. Um, but from here is when you would start building out your ads. The URL is, is the, the website where you want to send ad traffic to. Like I've said before, you guys do not send ad traffic to your homepage, right? The homepage represents your brand. It shows people, it gives people from organic result from Google search organically, maybe from Google business profile or even your business card, a broad idea of what your site is about. Your homepage is not designed to convert. You want to send traffic to a page on your website that is specifically designed to convert traffic from Google ads that want mobile car detailing into mobile car detailing customers. So your, your URL would be something like this. Um, like mobile car detailing pros, for example, mobile car detailing pros. Now let's just do it more broad. If you just offer broad services, car detailing, houston.com slash mobile detailing, right? And then here you do mobile, does it fit? No, mobile detailing, just like that, right? Now when someone sees the URL, it shows that it's relevant to what they're looking for. Now this is where you want to add the headlines. I recommend adding all uh, 15 of them, but for the purpose of this video, I will just show you some examples, right? This is, and one thing to remember with your headlines is it should include the service, which is going to be detailing and it should include the location. So Houston mobile detailing, uh, mobile car detailing, Houston, mobile detailing in Houston. Now there are some more advanced strategies that you can use to actually work through getting your uh, headlines and descriptions in. What you can do really easily is check your competitors, right? Just to see what they're running. So mobile car detailing Houston, let's bring this over. Usually, I mean, for me, I don't like this because I, a lot of them are not running uh, any good headlines and you can see here, none of these are good. There's no need, there's no need to include the near you term that people understand that the ads that are showing are near them. Uh, but you would want to go through and add uh, as many as you can, right? Um, uh, we will come detail your car, right? Just like that. Um, mobile detailing today. Can we add today? No. Mobile detailing today. Book. There you go, right? These are some great headlines just to start. And of course, you'd want to add them all which I would if I had the time, but it does take some time to, to, to build up these ads. Now the descriptions, again, you want to have all four and you would just go through and add descriptions. Again, make sure to include the location and the service. So in ne looking for mobile car detailing in Houston, we've got you covered. Uh, schedule online today or call us today for uh, to book a Houston mobile car detailing appointment. Uh, so that, right? That's, I would make that longer, but just for the purpose of this ad, of this video, this is, and this ad actually looks quite good. Um, there are some changes I would make if I had more time to do research, uh, but just to get it up and running, this is a really good start. Right. And then you want to go through, if you have the time, add site links. You can do this account wide afterwards, add call outs again, account wide, add asset types account wide. Uh, that's something you would do after setting up the ad you click through next. Now when it comes to budget, you want to set a custom budget per day. Usually if you're not spending 50 or hundred dollars per day on Google ads uh, in most areas, it's going to be very difficult to get enough data in a short enough period of time to actually generate leads regularly. You can expect, maybe you have to pay for 10 clicks to get one call, maybe eight, best case scenario, five, 20% conversion rate, right? So even at five, 
at a cost per click that we looked at before, you're gonna be spending 40 or 50 bucks to get a mobile detailing job, right? Which is fine, uh, but that's why I would set a minimum budget per day, $50 per day, right? If you don't have that much money, it's probably better to be spent elsewhere, right? And because I don't want this ad to run on my campaign, I'll just set it at one cent. Boom. And it's just gonna check uh, for any errors and I will jump back in once it has finished checking. Okay, so once the campaign is published, you'll see under campaigns, you have the campaign here, bid strategy learning, right? That's normal. Even once it stops saying this, it's Google is still learning your campaign for weeks, right? Any changes that you make really set back the uh, really set back the amount of time it takes for you to see clear results, right? Now within this campaign is will is where you'll start to build out your different ad groups because it's this campaign that has the budget, has the targeting, right? And now in these different ad groups is where you're going to add those services, right? So the next ad group that you would add, for example, right, would be you would add uh, interior car detailing, right? You could save and continue, and you can just save and continue, publish without any ads. Uh, I mean, obviously you would wanna go through and build out the ad, right? And then finally, let's say you have $100 per day, you would add another ad group just targeting broad car detailing services. Broad, and I'm gonna show you guys how your ad groups should be structured within the campaign. Right. So oh, this is how you're gonna to wanna to set up your campaign, right? You're gonna have the campaign for Houston within the Houston campaign, because this is where your targeting is set, location targeting, budget. Within the Houston campaign, you have the various ad groups. Within these ad groups, you're gonna have two or three or four ads each, right? Depending on if you want to set up phone call ads and when you're split testing. Uh, but this is how you're gonna set up the campaign. If you're at $100 a day or less, you only want two or three campaigns. Uh, if you're able to spend more money, you can build up more campaigns. Uh, and this is where all your data is gonna be available for these campaigns. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward, you guys. Um, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. As always, uh, if you do need help with your Google Ads running the campaigns, if you have any questions about performance or you're wondering why you're not able to use your Google Ads to just generate leads every single day, uh, please feel free to click the link down below and book a call with me. Uh, I'm happy to take a look at, your, look at your campaigns, answer any questions you might have, and see if there's any opportunity to grow your car detailing business together online. Um, as always, you guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.